Hello, my name is Sandra Sider and I am Vice President of Studio Art Quilt Associates. I want to let you know about the Visioning Project, an inspiring part of the SACWA website conceived and implemented by our President, Lisa Chipotine. You do have to be a member of SACWA to participate. We already have many dozens of members who have signed up, describing the projects they have a vision of completing by the end of this calendar year. I am very excited because I have finished the two quilts that I wanted to do in my project and I did them in only a couple of months last fall, which for me, with everything else I have going on, is pretty amazing. And the journal that I kept, an artist journal, in that visioning project was absolutely crucial in finishing those two quilts. In your journal, you may discuss your project, you may keep a calendar, you may post images and captions, you may also have comments, sort of a blog, people may also leave comments in your project. I found this idea to be one of the most exciting elements of my art career that I have ever experienced. So if you would like to experience that as well, if you're a member of SACWA, sign up for the Visioning Project, and if you're not, think of joining SACWA if you work in the quilt as an art form, or if you are a quilter and would like to try to become a quilt artist. In my site, I talk about the process that I have used for those two quilts, and that is photo transfer, which I have done for, oh my, more than 20 years. So what will follow is a very short lesson in how to do a quick and easy photo transfer. Thank you. Photo transfer is a very, very easy process. I usually photo transfer onto white cotton twill. You may also use sheeting, um, percale, muslin, even silk, but usually the thinner the fabric is, the more difficult it is to get a really good pull. You may also use printed fabric. Here's a very funky piece of pink gingham and you can see how part of the image masks the print and part of it comes through. A very interesting effect sometimes, especially with tone. I always prepare my fabric by ironing it, making it very hot to receive the image. And I use a specific iron this old sunbeam that I bought at the thrift shop only for photo transfer. Sometimes a little residue can get onto the iron. You don't want to ruin your good irons. Also, this is a nice heavy iron and you need to iron with a bit of weight. You'll also notice that I prepared my transfer sheet by leaving about a one quarter inch border all around the edge. That is because sometimes a little bit of the image will bleed, so you don't want to trim it right at the edge because that can stick to your iron. This happens to be um, a digitally uh, manipulated image of part of a Louisiana license plate. I'm very much into license plates now. So let's heat this fabric up a little bit again. And then very carefully position, going with the grain, your image onto the fabric. Do not move it. Set the iron down to anchor it very gently. And then I do three passes, three complete passes. Here comes the first one. That's half of it. This is the other half. The second one. And you'll notice I'm really pushing down hard on this iron. Just lean into it. You can use that weight. And then the third pass. You will want to make sure you have some ventilation because sometimes these fumes can be a bit noxious. And then the finishing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then very quickly pull. It will be hot. Pull that off of there and you have a wonderful, a little bit sticky, but a very nice pull and you leave it flat until it gets cool because otherwise it can get a little bit crinkled or buckled. So, see how easy that was?